how you're going to suck my life force away from me, my finances, my energy, my time, my attention. I need these things. I need these things in order to reach this goal here. And what you're offering me, it's not congruent. After 32 days, I have relapsed back into my old habits. This girl texted me last week asking to be together and I said yes. We have this relationship dynamic in which we usually end up smoking and engaging in sexual activities. How quaint. When she invited me, I kind of knew that was a strong possibility. To be honest, I thought, oh well, just smoking one time won't hurt me that much. Especially because I like that routine with her. Oh, the naivete. Nevertheless, I woke up the day after feeling super hungover with a foggy brain and very tired. Those symptoms are still persistent after one week after. I just feel super tired and basically all the bad symptoms that made me want to quit weed for the first time still persist within my psyche. Can anyone share their experiences with relapsing, even if it's just one time like myself? I feel like my 32 days of dedication went straight into the trash and I have to start all over again. I usually use sports to get myself busy, but I've injured my back during swimming practice and I feel physically limited at the present moment. How the fuck do you injure yourself swimming? Am I being stupid? Let me know. I'm straight up not having a good time. I need all tips of support because I don't feel hopeful at the moment. At least I've learned my lesson and I won't smoke again soon, no matter what, especially while not having my life figured out. And here we have yet another example of why it is so important for you as a man to screen women to screen them, to interview them. I know that might sound formal, but it is imperative that you as a man understand that when you bring somebody into your environment, especially so close to your inner circle, so close to your heart, that they're gonna have a impact on that. They're going to dilute. They are going to mess with the uh, feng shui, as it were, of your inner environment. And as soon as you recognize that, hey, I'm bringing a woman into my life that likes to smoke weed and I'm trying to quit smoking weed, that should be a non-negotiable. That should be the easiest decision for you in the world to go, absolutely not, we are not compatible. And to be honest, women rarely hear that. They rarely hear, hey, you're great, but we're not compatible. And what does that do inner, to, to their inner psychology? It drives them fucking nuts because they've never, they've never heard it before. They've never been told before by another man that, hey, you're just not meeting my expectations. And they go nuts, they go, why? This is the first man in the world that's told me that I'm not good enough for him. He's different, he's different to other men. What can I do? What can I change inside myself to make me valuable to this particular individual? And you might find that that is the motivation she needs to level up herself, to become compatible, to, to meet you on, your level, so to speak. But no, because we put the uh, because, we, because we put the box on the pe pedestal, so to speak. I'm trying to be I'm trying to be very sensitive towards the lexicon that I've been employing, especially over the last two weeks, guys, because I've been getting demonetized uh, a lot more. So hopefully this isn't one of those videos. Uh, perhaps the matrix. I don't like to use the matrix, but who knows? Maybe there's a gender against me. But uh, I'm, I'm digressing here. We're putting too much emphasis on the fact that, oh, if a girl is showing interest in me, then I should immediately fold. I should immediately, immediately conform to her expectations that instead of holding my values, my virtues, my morals. No, absolutely not. You're the prize in this respect. You must not acquiesce. You must persevere in the vision of yourself. You've mentioned it here, my friend especially while not having figured my life out yet. This is the dangerous position to be in. 
Those who do not have a purpose will drown themselves in pleasure. So you need to orientate yourself around a grander vision for yourself. My vision is up here. I know exactly what it is I'm going to achieve and also have developed the system in order to achieve it. But it breaks my heart when I talk to my coaching clients and they've never even figured out that part yet. They haven't even sat down and devised a plan of what they would like their life to be and what they would like to achieve. If you have not, I would implore you to take some time in order to do so. And that way, that way, gentlemen, when temptation comes, when the devil comes to you, you can use the word devil. If you don't like to use the word devil, temptation, uh, somebody seeking to knock you off your path, so to speak, it will be easy for you to make an, uh, a decision based on conviction to eliminate them from your environment. And you say, look, my vision right here, I don't see how you're a part of it. I don't see how you're bringing me closer to this ideal of myself, but I can see, I can see how you're gonna take me away from it, how you're going to suck my life force away from me, my finances, my energy, my time, my attention, I need these things. I need these things in order to reach this goal here. And what you're offering me, it's not congruent. It's not congruent with my vision here. So you can take your temptation, you can take your weed, you can take your all, all, all this pleasure-driven um, outcome, and you can you can go and tempt a weaker man because because I'm not here for it. My vision is grander. I'm a conduit for God, the divine and the universe and whatever synonym best pleases your, your values and your virtues. Because this is what will happen. The grogginess, the fatigue, the brain fog is just a way of your body telling you, hey, 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 you're fucking up right now. You're chasing pleasure instead of purpose. Wake up. Procrastinating? This pleasure-driven behavior is delaying your dream. Stop fucking up. Not theories. Facts. Speak soon.